I want to catch you before you leave. Um, there's two more things. One on the agenda, one is not. What is not on the agenda is there's a, and I, this is a dangerous thing to say, put myself in between you and the bar. Um, or hors d'oeuvres, but we do have a reception uh, for those who want to stay who have uh, warm food and uh, as well as uh, beverages. But I also, there's one more thing on the agenda, and I'd be remiss if you left and you had a few minutes left. I won't take half an hour as uh, scheduled. I'll take uh, 10, 15 minutes. That's up to you. I won't be speaking for all that time. I expect you to be doing that. What I have in front here is uh, Johnny Beaulieu and uh, Nick Scott from uh, the SPRN, as well as Lynn Campbell, my assistant at the Urban and Community Studies Institute. And I want to pick your brains. I want to document what you've learned. What were your takeaways? Qu'est-ce qui étaient les perles de sagesse que vous avez retenu aujourd'hui? Parce que pour nous, ça nous aide énormément de savoir qu'est-ce qui a uh, alimenté le plus votre discussion. For those who can't stay, you're welcome to uh, go in the foyer, but please uh, lend me your ear. Before doing that, very briefly, um, I want to make a plug for the Atlantic Canada Studies Centre. They have uh, the next four Thursdays, starting uh, November 7th, between 7 and 9. Uh, there will be uh, a colloquium or a series of four colloquiums on the urbanization of Atlantic Canada. Uh, there are at the registration desk uh, pamphlets. I invite you to take one. Second, I want to be very, um, express my great gratitude to uh, our partners in this. The government in Brunswick, uh, the translation, uh, you know, food, you name it, uh, a lot of that is, is uh, owes to their kind uh, generosity as well as SPRN, La FMNB, and the University of New Brunswick. Above all, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm uh, a bit overwhelmed uh, about how much I learned today and how much I wasn't sure when putting these panels together, when organizing these sessions, how it was going to work out. Uh, you know, uh, indulge me. Uh, show, uh, um, a show of hands if you've learned something today. So I'm extremely grateful to all 26 uh, panelists and uh, presenters and moderators. I also ask you homework this morning. We got a few tweets. We got uh, a few emails. Um, we didn't get a lot of questions written down uh, or kernels of information. So this is your opportunity. Uh, so someone is here, someone there. N'importe quelle des deux langues. Alors, je veux savoir quelles ont été les perles. I don't want a long preamble, je veux pas un grand dialogue. Je veux savoir dans quelques mots, qu'est-ce que vous avez retenu, qu'est-ce que vous avez appris aujourd'hui, what did you learn? Uh, please share. I'll be pointing fingers, you just blurt out, uh, raise your hand, blurt it out, and uh, we'll be documenting uh, this. So 15 minutes, and after that, you'll have a go. I want, uh, it, could be low, it could be questions worth exploring, what we didn't tackle today, it might be a worth interesting tackling. The other one is low-lying fruit. A lot of, uh, you know, Dr. Arden's message, for example, is just execute, and a lot of people have said that as well. So what are things that we know we can do and we could do without much uh, effort? So two, I'll start the ball rolling. Two, my takeaways. Transportation is one of the things that we need to be uh, thinking about regionally. Um, and uh, to Jean-Guy Finn's uh, and another uh, point about interdependency uh, between rural and uh, urban communities. And that is one thing that's near and dear to our heart at the Urban and, and Community Studies Institute. Uh, and in fact, I've argued that uh, maybe teasing out remote and connected from rural urban would be a much uh, sort of more illuminating uh, distinction. In other words, that we have so many, and one of the projects we're hoping to, to, to materialize is to look at the transformational of a lot of rural New Brunswick that are connected within our urban centers. And we, made, we, we've, we know, for example, that so many of those, of those professions are no longer tied to resource uh, industries, but are very, uh, have become bedroom communities. So that is a different set of challenges than communities that are remote and uh, who, for whom economic development uh, is a very serious challenge. So we've heard both of that, and I don't think they're incompatible. I, th I think we're talking, uh, again, about the difference between remote uh, and connected. So, s'il vous plaît.
God will be worked to restore them. Second, I hope that you will eventually organize uh, a, a symposium on the actual urban development planning. And that what I'm referring to is that there are many urban phenomena happening nowadays that are uh, getting away from the traditional uh, middle class suburb type uh, uh, development. Uh, a lot of it are geared towards more uh, public transportation, more uh, organizing uh, livable uh, habitation downtown, and a lot of really good things are happening around the world. And hopefully that will be the subject of a future symposium. Okay. Now, see, so we have our first registrant for the symposium on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We need a culture shift. Say a few words, Mark. <laughs> well, it seems we all want to progress forward 21st century, but we're kind of still living in the 60s, and it applies to pretty much every topic in New Brunswick. We don't want to go forward, we want to live in the past, and we want to go forward, but not want to do a culture shift when we can have it in all topics. Okay. Yes. municipal structures. Wait, what is? Uh, congratulations for the organization because we had a good mix of people. Maybe the, uh, uh, to have uh, next time to have a uh, uh, category of players that we heard a lot about but we didn't get to hear them as panelists, namely mayors uh, uh, in the what is perceived as being urban and rural and another group which is not always very easy to get at the table but this is also the New Brunswick that we're talking about representatives from First Nations, they are also in a situation of urbanization. New Brunswick is sort of a, not following the sort of national trend on that uh, level. They're still, uh, with their communities are very uh, vibrant, but it would be interesting because we heard lots of different point of views mm -hmm. from uh, commissions, from scholars, uh, members of associations, but it would be interesting to hear other actors who don't get this occasion that often because there are no um, former journalists. There are no journalists with the uh, s uh, smoke screen giving you a few seconds of what happened in the day. Right. We get to spend the day together and we, we're going back with lots of information that we don't get in the newspaper, we don't get in an article, or we don't get in the news. Uh, so uh, that, that was one of the major Ok, merci pour le commentaire 1, puis 2, on, on, on va corriger le tir. Oui. And you can provide a venue if, if for one of those events? Oh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. yes. A couple of things with a couple of lines. One is we talk a lot about future going ahead with legislation. Uh, I think if you're going to do that, you need to have legislation, you need to have transparency, and address the funding. Because if you don't, you're, in my view, you're going to lose. The other thing that for another line that I'd like to see you in is, people and uh, I think you're going to miss a lot of talent 
it can also include people who are in local service industries, because there's a lot of talent out there. Mm -hmm. and, and Mr. Finn addressed really the issue of, I call it respect, rural, urban, and municipality. Okay. So. Thank you. Over here. I do. <laughs> Invitations are my doing, and I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, Nick, and that covers all four of the public universities and all seven of their campuses. Um, and, and in this particular area, of course, he would be third. But there's a, a range of other resources. Um, and the other way to access those is through the university offices of research services. Each of the four universities has one of those. They should be able to put you in touch with the appropriate researcher. Um, we do better on that business side that you heard so much about from North Carolina. Few more. Looks like you've come up with an agenda for several uh, workshops uh, here. Uh, you mentioned the out migration issue with young people, uh, to, to, and there's been some research done around that. I, I'd say that would be a good, a good area to uh, to look at. Uh, and I think that sort of information could be instructive for your policymakers that are here because they're they're living in the communities that's seeing that's experiencing this out migration. So having having that. Thanks. L let me just say very briefly that I, I appreciate the heads up, and, and in fact, part of it is trying to identify are the research projects we're contemplating resonating or at least have a have an appetite. I don't want to overpromise at the same time that we're tackling all these things on. So we, we the, hence the SPRN. But it, it's it, it's good to know, and in some cases, it's a question of facilitating who who is doing that research and where is that expertise doing. And hence, at the very onset, when I invited you to send questions or tweets or whatnot, I'm I'm sincere in saying that if if we have the answer, we'll share it. If we don't, we'll find someone who can. Yes? Yeah, our previous presenter uh, just uh, mentioned that in the healthcare, there was going to be lots of openings. Uh, my granddaughter just graduated from nursing two years ago, and 92 were in her class, and the province hired none of them. 
except a couple of casuals. She is now in Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, I think eight of her classmates are in Alberta. The five are in Winnipeg and some are in uh, North Carolina. So it's easy to sit here and say, well, there's jobs out there. So better labor market integration well, strategy. Uh, I mean, why are we training and paying to train a nurse and ship them to another province? Okay. Thank you. Well, since there was um, a pretty much consensus, I think, on the value of education as uh, contributors to the workforce development, uh, are you confident that the next level will have a policy plan and policy and use to be in the policy? Okay, so include all the elements as part of the post-secondary education. Sure. Denis? Et de les inclure davantage dans une, une activité comme celle-ci pour combler le, un des écarts que Maurice identifiait plus tôt. It's drawing on 5 o'clock. I really, really appreciate this feedback. Uh, please do stay, uh, grab some food, uh, a drink, and if you have further feedback, I'd love to hear it. Thanks a lot, everyone.